Pacific shooting in Las Vegas has produced a whole lot of stories of loss. This morning, tales of heroism are also emerging. Remarkable ones, and one of those coming from our own right here in New Mexico. News 13 Sarah Yingling has a New Mexico police chief's firsthand account of what happened and his effort to save the lives around him. Sarah? Yeah, Adam Hobbs Police Chief Chris McCall summed that night up with one word, terrifying. Even with his extensive law enforcement experience, nothing could have prepared him for what he, his wife, and the roughly 22,000 other concert goers would go through that night. We immediately dropped down onto our stomachs and uh, began yelling for people around us to get down as well. It was almost as if it, it uh, weren't a real event occurring. Chief McCall says he was sitting in an elevated area near the stage that overlooked the crowd below when it all began. He says when the first small burst of gunfire broke out, everyone thought they were just fireworks. But McCall recognized that sound as automatic gunfire. That's when he and his wife got down to the floor and tried to get those standing around them in shock to run for cover. Chief McCall says as the gunman was reloading, they made a run for it, hiding underneath the platform, then in a gutter, eventually making it safely into a parking garage. Along the way, helping others as well. We really worked to try to get ourselves and uh, other folks out of the area. We collected up individuals who had gotten separated from their group along the way, uh, trying to get them back to safety as well. McCall says his training kicked in as he looked for any kind of secondary threats as concert goers were yelling about other possible shooters on the ground as well. Back to you. All right, Sarah, thank you. Chief McCall says he and his wife spent the day in their hotel room still trying to process what had happened. News 13 will continue to track the latest details as the investigation unfolds into the shooting. We'll keep you updated on air and on the KRQE News app.